Since I plan on doing some wargaming on this channel, I thought it might be kind of fun to show you guys one of my 40k armies. I've got I've got two 40k armies. Uh, both of them are Chaos Space Marines. Uh, and both of them use the Iron Warriors rules. Um, the themes are really, really different, though. So uh, I'll just show you what I've got here. Uh, this is a uh, this is an Iron Warriors force that's themed off of the Dark Mechanicum. I really like the Dark Mechanicum lore and uh, you know the demon engines and stuff like that. So I'll kind of just go over what I've got. I wanted to avoid using Space Marines uh, just for the theme, uh, and I've got some kit bashes in here to give it more of a Dark Mechanicum theme. Like for instance, this guy here is actually a Chaos Sorcerer, uh, but I've I've kitbashed him from parts from a Tech Priest Dominus, and I think it's a Lord of Contagion bit. Uh, and I think he turned out pretty well, using the, the base for like a, a typical Space Marine. Uh, and then I like to run Obliterators. Obliterators are super fun <laughs> in 40k, just because like you don't know what kinds of stuff they're going to be doing every single turn. Like you roll like strength and damage every single turn. Uh, then I've I've got like a, a thing of like ten cultists. These are actually uh, I think they're called arcoflagellants, uh, but I've kitbashed them with bits from a uh, from a necromunda set, so they've got guns and stuff. So these are uh, these are cultists with brutal assault weapons and auto pistols, but I've kitbashed them to look a lot more like tech thrall because I figured that would have a lot more of like a, a Dark Mechanicum feel. Uh, and then of course, I mean, you can't have Dark Mechanicum without like Warp, pre uh, warp Priests, uh, Warp Smiths. Uh, these are really good because I can sit around and uh, use these guys to heal my demon engines. Uh, I think in Faith and Fury, they got, uh, the Iron Warriors have stuff they can do like, I can't remember, but if you have one of these guys within a certain range of the obliterators, uh, then they can do some pretty sweet stuff. Uh, and then my HQ, like my primary general, is usually this Lord Discordant. Uh, Lord Discordant is pretty sweet. Like there was a game where this guy and then one of those Mauler fiends back there, like single-handedly took down a knight in a single uh, in a single round off a charge. That was uh, that was pretty sweet. And then I'm running. <laughs> the thing about these guys, they got tentacles, and they tend to like catch on each other. I'm running two of these uh, Mauler fiends. Uh, I kept this head, but I put the tongue in this mouth, um, just because it looks so it looks so like feral and cool. And the other one just looks too subdued. I thought this would really. Uh, this would look really nasty, and uh, it worked out. And finally, I haven't gotten to use this guy in a fight yet, but I thought the Venom Crawler looked pretty interesting. This, the stats are sort of confusing to me, because I can't tell if it wants to be a melee unit or like a shooty unit, because uh, it's got really decent shooting stuff, but it also wants to get in close. So... They, I mean, they explode, I think, if I remember correctly. They explode really, really big. Um, so the theme behind this army, you can probably tell just by the color, uh, we're going for more like a Nurgle-type theme. Um, I liked the idea of a, of a Dark Mechanicum sect that kind of followed Nurgle. So for flavor reasons, I give all these guys Mark of Nurgle uh, for survivability. Um... The, the artifact I typically give to my Lord Discordant is, uh, I usually like to give him the Flesh Metal Exoskeleton, uh, for extra, I think that one gives you extra regen, uh, and he already regenerates one, so if he's regenerating, like, two per turn, that's sort of, that's sort of ridiculous. Uh, the other thing I, I usually like to give him, especially against lists with, like, uh, uh, with, like, a lot of vehicles... Uh, and against that knight, I actually gave him, gave him the the Cranium Malevolus, which does mortal wounds to uh, does mortal wounds to vehicles. So uh, yeah, if I was gonna expand these guys, I want to get another Lord Discordant, uh, and 
obliterators. Uh, I had a, when I used obliterators, they were very, very fun. And <laughs> I would love to have more obliterator shenanigans. Just because it's... Uh, rampant Technovirus makes them a lot more usable. Uh, and I was very, very thankful when that rule came out. But, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is my Dark Mechanicum army. Uh, and I, I did give them a name. Uh, I think I called them, I think I called them Pax Tenebris or something. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. So, maybe in the future, if we do some one-page rules, or if we do some actual 40k, I would love to get some battle reports on the channel. Those are super long, but it would be, uh, it'd be really fun to do.